Well, hello again, everyone. Me and Ashley are here again to do some freeze-dried food. Yay! God, God you're always so excited. <laughs> so excited. All right, so we have another offering from Packet Gourmet, the Biggin Burrito with Fajita Chicken. Diced chicken with black beans, brown rice, spinach, roasted corn, cheddar cheese, and Cholula hot sauce. Ooh. I've had a few of these. I personally think Packet Gourmet is actually really, really good. They're pretty on point with a lot of their flavors, so I don't know. I continue to buy them from time to time. Nutritional information there, so 380 calories in this one little deal. Uh, this is, uh, you know, bring your own tortilla sort of situation. So if you're expecting a tortilla in here, you're going to be a little bit disappointed. I, or maybe you won't be disappointed. I don't know. I don't know what you, I don't know what you guys think. Um, but anyway, so for those of you who are instruction Nazis, because some people are, uh, two and a third cup or five ounces or 447 milliliters of boiling water. And then we'll let that steep. And uh, that actually says right here, BYO Tortillas. Bring yeah. your own tortillas. I think we have a couple of tortillas somewhere that maybe we can use. I bet we can find some, yeah. Hopefully. All right, so we'll take out the oxygen absorber. We do have the packet of Cholula. And there is what the contents of the package look like inside. Want to smell it? Oh, it smells good. Cheesy. It is cheesy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it smells very cheesy. So, for those of you who, you know, have not been around here, follow the instructions if you want. Or you can walk on the wild side and do it the way I do it, which is just pell-mell with no logic behind it at all. Yeah, that's about right. Wow, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like to add just enough water to kind of eh, judge it where it would look about the way I would like it when it's done and then add a little bit more. So this does have rice in it and beans. It'll require a little bit more water for all those to be properly reconstituted. But if you haven't done this before or as much as I have, then uh, go by the instructions because that's you know usually the best known way not to say it's the best way totally but it's the best known way so we're gonna let that uh you know heat up reconstitute other words for a little bit and then we'll come back and we'll try it cool okay and our biggin biggin big un burrito is ready I went ahead and we just had some corn tortillas, which is kind of my preference. So I just sort of you know, just warmed them up, gave them a little color, uh, and also so they kind of stay together a little bit better for us as we're eating our burrito. But So these will be more like tacos than mm -hmm. burritos, I guess. What do you think? Do you think I should add that hot sauce in here and stir it up? or Go add for it? it. You can stir it up. I mean, I like okay. hot sauce, so... I know. I just didn't know if you wanted to put it individually on each thing. Usually I just add it in the package. Yeah. Sometimes I just add it in the package, like, right as I'm adding the water. But I guess I miffed on that a little bit here. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this on the tray. And then we'll transfer it to our tacos. Okay. Oh, it's got good. beans. Dang oh, it. Guess. It's okay. I think it's fine. <sighs> no, it's not fine. Let me... Not beans. <laughs> oh, there's so many beans. There's, there are tons of beans. I'm sorry. It's I, okay. Ashley doesn't like beans. I know, I'm difficult. Okay. I mean, I, there are the occasional beans I'm okay with, so... I'm it's, sorry, I can't help it. It's over. <laughs> it's over, man. It's done. It said fajita chicken. Where the hell's the fajita chicken? I, I don't know where it's at. I don't see. I mean, I'm seeing the rice. I'm seeing the corn. Yeah, we have our beans, but like... Rice? Is that a little chicken? Is that a chicken? Oh, right okay. There? Yeah, it's yeah, it's very I'm small. Yeah, show them the little chicken. The little chicken's right there. Okay. okay. Yeah, you're good. All right, ready? Yes. Let's, uh... 
wrap it up and put it down. Okay. I see where they're going with it. It's not bad. Not bad. It has a lot of flavor to it. The textures of the beans is a little weird for me, but other than that, mm -hmm. it's good. Very cheesy. Mm -hmm. I'm getting that cheddar in there. I can taste the peppers and stuff too. Mm-hmm. That flavor is really good. That's good. Yeah, the flavor is good. Um, you know, there's tomatoiness in there. There's a little bit of spice. I'd have to assume maybe, you know, some cumin, mm -hmm. the general stuff, maybe paprika, something like that. Not a ton of heat. There's a little bit of back end heat. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the thing that I like the most about this is the corn. I like the corn in there. Hmm. Okay. There's a little bit of smokiness in there too. I'm trying to get you a bite without without a bean in it. It's, it's fine. I've already kind of like ate like no, eight, no more beans. beans, no more beans. Oh, here comes the airplane. Oh lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. I I like it with the shell better. Same. But it's very good. And I, a lot of flavors. And I'll tell you what. I think I like it better with a corn tortilla than I would with a flour tortilla. I agree. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, there's some acidity in there, mm -hmm. too. Maybe some lime. Um, overall, it's good. I guess, proportion-wise, maybe, I've seen some bigger portions for, you know, the similar price. Because these are... I think anywhere from like, you know, 10 to 15 bucks, mm -hmm. something like that. But it is good. The, the flavor is on point. I think that the real win here would be if they could put in a couple of prepackaged tortillas. I think that would maybe make it feel like a little bit more worth it, maybe. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. But it's not bad. The Big and Burrito, you know, gets a, mm -hmm. uh, it's fine. It's good. I liked it. Okay. Well, if any of you at home have tried the Biggin, and you want to share your story, your harrowing adventure with the Biggin Burrito, leave it in the comments down below, along with any suggestions for future videos. If you would like to see something reviewed on the channel and want to send it in, you can send it to the P.O. Box, which is in the description along with the Patreon link. You don't have to support us there, but it's there. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.